In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best blitz that I have found in Madden 22. This defense is absolutely lethal. And honestly, guys, this might be the last blitz video that I need to do for Madden 22 because it's that powerful, it's that effective, it's that good. Um, you're gonna be able to get instant pressure against every type of blocking me mechanism that they could possibly use against you. So I'm super jacked up for this video. I'm really excited to share this with you. And we're gonna actually do something a little different than we normally do. I'm gonna break this blitz down against bunch and i'm gonna make it break it down against bunch flipped and the reason why is because i've seen a lot of people talking about the 245 odd i myself have been talking about it too and we've actually released a full defensive ebook on it if you want to get that there's a link in the description we go over specifics of everything uh very in-depth high level of detail we talk about how you can use this one defense and in fact how you can literally just use one play from this defense to basically lock down the majority of of what you're going to be seeing people run you're going to be able to absolutely scream at them there's several different blitzing concepts we have over 20 different blitzes in that ebook that literally walk you step by step through it so if you want to get the guide there's a link in the description i'll explain everything but in this video i just want to show one concept um that i just i think is really really incredible it's been probably my best discovery of this year and it's not going to sound like much to be honest but what it allows us to do from a coverage perspective, it really does blow my mind how good this really is. So um, let's just jump into the video. I'm gonna come out in a probably the most effective play in Madden 22, that is the double post out of the Carolina Bunch. And the play is pinch two. Now I've talked about this before on the channel, but we're gonna talk about it just a little bit differently today than I think we have yet on the channel. Um, and this is just an insane, it's just insane how good this is. And this is actually gonna be able to stop the run too, which is really good because most people, when I run two, four, five odd online, the first thing they do is they run inside zone until they until I prove I can stop it. This has really good inside zone defense kind of built into it. I'm gonna explain why. There's one adjustment you need to do to get your inside zone defense to work properly. And then there's also, um, but the cool part is it's not just gonna have great inside zone defense. It's going to have great pressure. We're going to get instant pressure against Max Protect. So they're going to block seven. We're going to send five, and we're going to get instant pressure against it. So let's just jump in. I'm super pumped for this. If you want the guide, it's in the description. It's been there. Um, it's been out for a couple days now, and it is really, really, really good. So literally, um, we're not – I mean, you don't really have to do anything other than this one step or two steps. I want to make this as simple as possible for those of you that like simple setups. So all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our linebackers – Okay, and that's important for the run defense because we're gonna use this guy right here is like our number one chance at stopping the run, okay? So we're gonna pinch the linebackers and then we're gonna man him up onto the running back, okay? That's all we're gonna do. And what you're gonna see is um, if we send five out, you're gonna scream. So you're just gonna come down and left and as you see, you get double edge heat, okay? Now that double edge heat, honestly, probably about 90% consistent, you're gonna get double edge. If they send five out, it's 100% consistent that somebody's coming in clean. Most of the time, you're gonna get two people free, okay? Now, I wanna show what happens whenever they delay fade a tight end because that's the number one tactic that people will use to stop this blitz. They're gonna delay fade their tight end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the right, and as you see, we're able to come in completely clean against a delay faded tight end. So you might say, well, what they're gonna do is they're gonna block their running back because that's definitely gonna work. Well, this is why we man this guy up. Um, this is kind of the concept. When you man up the running back, a lot of different things happen this year whenever, they, whenever the running back blocks. For example, if I manned up the slot corner on the running back and the running back blocked, this would not work. That would put the slot corner into coverage and it would not the, the defense would not work. He wouldn't glitch out the running back. But watch what happens here, and I'm gonna show it in this replay. If we if we guard the running back, what we get, and that time I got picked up really randomly. That normally doesn't happen. Let me show you one more time and uh, we'll show it again here. So again, just man up the running back. You don't have to pinch if you if you don't think they're gonna run. I just like to pinch the linebackers just in case of a run. But anyways, there you see it. There's the pressure. Whoops, I'm sorry, I forgot to block the running back. Let me do that real quick. Um, cause I want to show you what happens to this guy and what he really does for the defense. He does a couple of things for our defense whenever the running back blocks. Um, so anyway, I just snap the ball and there you see pressure, instant pressure against a blocked running back. Okay. So now let me show you this in instant replay. Uh, and let me just show you what happens. So you see this running back step up into the middle. Why? Because what this defender does 
is he honestly i don't even know i can't even explain what it is it's like he blitzes but at the same time he kind of spies the quarterback too so it's just kind of a wonky little thing um occasionally he'll jump into coverage but most of the time he's just going to go right there like that and he's going to glitch out the running back which is all we need him to do because if the running back goes on a route now we at least have somebody that's going to at least at least delay the route he may not necessarily stop everything but he's at least gonna delay it enough to where we've got two soft squats on the field that are going to be able to be in a really good position to be able to get there now again this defense is predicated please hear me loud and clear this defense is completely predicated on the fact that you're going to be able to get instant pressure if you can't get instant pressure this defense sucks it's terrible don't run it you've got to be able to get the pressure only with the pressure does it make this good because soft squats and hard flats, if we want to go hard flats or cloud flats, cover two can get exposed if it if the, if the quarterback has a ton of time. Um, let me give you an example of this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run the play uh, verticals. I'm gonna max protect. Which I don't know why he did that. I'm gonna max protect. I'm gonna streak circle, and um, then I'm gonna motion. I don't know why I can't motion green out. It doesn't really matter. But we're gonna do this now. Watch what happens here. So I can get out of the pocket, throw this wheel. See, that's that's the move. So there's ways we can combat that. And the number one way that I combat this is I get instant pressure. That's the number one way to combat it. Um, obviously, soft squats typically will match as well. Um, but anyways, we'll save that for a later tip. But anyways, again, pinch the linebackers. And now we're going to show you the kind of the finale of this is what happens whenever they max protect. So again, the super simple setup, I'm max protecting, blocking both my running back and my tight end. Again, you're going to stand right here. This significantly helps, in my opinion, with run defense from this. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to absolutely scream at max protect gun bunch. There's no time to throw the ball. That's what makes this defense so special. That's what makes this defense so effective. And there, we actually have an even better version of this in our defensive ebook. We have a um, we have a two-man max protect blitz that is absolutely lethal uh, from this. We can send it off of both edges as well, which I think makes it even better. Again, let me show it to you one more time. That time I got picked up, and, and occasionally you occasionally get picked up, but I find it to be very rare. And as you can see right there, we're just screaming at Max Protect. Now, this blitz, ironically, is even better, in my opinion, to the other side. Um, and the re and, and most people don't know how to get pressure um, against, against bunch flipped. They know how to get pressure against bunch as it is. They don't know how to get pressure against bunch flipped. But the cool part is this is basically, it's going to practically be the same adjustments. So all we're going to do is we are going to pinch our linebackers. And then I like to press out of this because I want this guy to be ideally I want him to come back inside a little bit he doesn't but I ideally I do want him to come back inside but anyways there's your pressure and what you'll see here is we're going to scream off the edge now how do you get this this other side of the of the play to come in really what you can do is just move this guy this way to me this is the easiest way so we're just going to move that guy back like that and then we're going to come over here. And the reason why is you're going to see we're going to significantly increase our chance to get pressure off of this right edge. So, again, we're just going to stand kind of right here. And there you see the pressure coming in off the right edge. So, just by leaving that, you've got to leave that linebacker inside. If you move him outside, um, it messes up his blitz angle. So, just move this guy back like this. Because the inside zone D is literally this guy just shooting the gap for you. And then you're standing like right here. Now, the other thing that I like to do if I'm running it this way is I do like to crash my line down. And the reason I like to do that is just, is more so for the run defense. But what you'll see here is, again, super fast pressure at the quarterback. So if you just move the line, you see that if I pinch the linebackers, it's not as consistent. So I'm just going to move this guy back, man him up on the running back, and then just stand right here. That's literally it. You're done. And your pressure should scream off that right edge. And like I said, it will come in even cleaner if you crash your line down. So it's super simple setup either, either way. Now, I just, just for sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and just max protect just so that I can show you that this defense works against max protect gun bunch. So again, I'm going to max protect here, snap of the ball. And what you'll see is we're coming around that edge. That time we got kind of swerved at, but typically that guy, and, and here's the real trick of this in mutt. And this is why I like this defense so much. You can put safety at the linebacker position, in, or like where Isaiah Simmons is. You could put a safety there. So you just want to put your fastest safety there. And if you put your fastest safety in there, you're going to get super fast pressure. You're going to get one of the two. Either the B gap is going to come in, 
or the or the edge heat is going to come in. That's pretty much what I've been seeing with this. Um, the left side pressure again. I would just encourage you. You got to kind of figure out where to stand. To me, right here is like the best for this. But again, just kind of come in, and then there you see we're just screaming against. That's max protect bunch guys, and we're screaming at it from both sides. So you can really build a scheme around this if you want to. Another thing that you can do, let's say that you uh, maybe it's early on in the game and you want to get kind of a, a little bit of a pressure, but you don't want to commit too many resources to it. Well, just mabel out your coverage. So you're gonna see here. I'm gonna drop purple. Uh, I'm gonna drop a purple, and then I'm gonna drop a yellow from that backside guy. So we're only gonna send three here. And you're going to see that three will oftentimes come in. It doesn't always come in, but it will oftentimes come in, as you see right there. That's the beauty of this defense. So it's not just the screamers that we go over, but we in the ebook we show you how to blend everything together and make it actually work as a system and a scheme. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would really encourage you to check out the defensive ebook. There's a link in the description below. You can get the defense for just $15. And like I said, to me, this is the best blitzing concept in the game because we're able to scream sending five at gun bunch max protect which probably the best protection in the game outside of maybe like some a sets um which not very many people are running right now so i would just i'm telling you this is this this blitz is insanely good insanely good so thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to get the ebook there's a link in the description below you just got to go down to the description click on that link it'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away